Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I am from thesupportzone.com and the purpose of thesupportzone.com is to offer bookkeeping services to small business owners. So with the help of today's video, we are going to see how we can connect QuickBooks desktop to QuickBooks point of sale. I would like to mention one important thing is here that uh, QuickBooks point of sale is no longer a product by Intuit. It is completely discontinued by Intuit back in October 2023. All right. If you are planning to move QuickBooks point of sale to a different software, that's a good thing. But in this video, I am going to show you how you can connect QuickBooks point of sale with QuickBooks data with QuickBooks desktop to synchronize the information with each other. Okay. And the purpose of doing it, because I know like several of my clients are still using QuickBooks point of sale. They are not using only 19.0. They are even using 18.0 or some of the clients are still using prior to that editions as well, like 2013 or 2012 as well. So in this video, we are going to see how we can sync QuickBooks desktop to QuickBooks point of sale. Or if I say why vice versa, like from QuickBooks point of sale to QuickBooks desktop, how we can synchronize each other. So first, what we need to do, we need to open QuickBooks desktop. I'm using QuickBooks Pro Plus 2024. So let me go ahead and open it. And I would like to make some changes first in order to get the information synchronized from desktop, from POS to this desktop edition. So let me enter the company file password here. Here we go. And as the file is about to be open, so now you can see this is the test file we created into our last video you can see at the top test llc all right so there are some settings that we need to change or that we need to enable in order to start synchronizing the information so first we need to go to edit preferences then go to items and inventories then click on company preference make a check on inventory and purchase orders are active make a check on this and click on okay quickbooks will close all the windows to enable this change and then go back to edit then go to preferences go to sales tech click on company preferences click on yes the uchr sales tech click on yes and then afterwards go to here and click on add new and click on sales tech item let's say i will name it as local sales tech local state sales tech and here we go and i will mention it as 2.8.25 percent and let me mention it as texas if it is possible or let me add it as texas sales tech sorry all right and let me click on okay and let me click on okay to save the information and here you can see when do you want to pay sales tax on a monthly basis and on an invoice date so all the information seems to be okay let me click on okay here and let me click on okay again so while the quickbooks is open we need to just go ahead and minimize it okay we did not close quickbooks desktop we just minimized it so now we are going to open quickbooks point of sale and once quickbooks point of sale is open i just downloaded quickbooks point of sale 19.0 just for this video purpose okay and i'm going to show you how i will going to start synchronizing the information so let me click on remind me later i would like to minimize it again like quickbooks point of sale and reopen quickbooks desktop there are some accounts you can see i will go to chart of accounts and if you can see here there are only few accounts i have deleted several accounts that was in there since the file was created i deleted several accounts and only few of these accounts are enabled or you can see are in the list of chart of accounts I will show you once the information starts to synchronize and you will be able to see the list of accounts here as well. So let me minimize it again and let me go to file preferences company under company go to financial and then click on use with QuickBooks financial software and this window will come up. We need to click on next and when we click on next year it will going to take to check a couple of things here and uh, let me go ahead and here if you can see it asks us for this window and QuickBooks point of sale with the following study certificate is requesting permission to access your QuickBooks company file test LLC. So do you want to allow this app QuickBooks point of sale to access and modify your QuickBooks company file? We can say yes and it says always allow access even my QuickBooks is not running. It means you are not using QuickBooks desktop. You are using QuickBooks point of sale and it's still going to synchronize the information. All right. And last it is just asking for the confirmation and are you sure you want to give 
this app exists to your data when quickbooks is not running we will gonna say yes and then we will gonna click on continue and then we will gonna click on confirm and now you can see the list of accounts got changed okay few of the accounts comes up here like inventory asset all this thing okay it means the information starts to synchronize and you can see here it says congratulations quickbooks desktop point of sale has been successfully connected to quickbooks so we can click on finish so now whenever you were and then click on save as well and uh, it says updating quickbooks please wait we need to wait for a few seconds in order to see to synchronize the information now you can see can you see here a lot of accounts are here in the chart of account this is what i was talking about now you can see so whenever you are going to enter any information in the quickbooks point of sale either your quickbooks desktop is open or not it will going to synchronize the information between these two softwares okay and i would like to repeat it again quickbooks desktop point of sale is no longer a supported product by into it now okay but i know a lot of retail owners are still using it for keeping track of their everyday sales quickbooks point of sale and they just want to sync it with quickbooks desktop as well so this video was all about them like if you are still using it and you're facing some problem regarding synchronizing quickbooks desktop so i believe this video may help you in case you need any assistance or any help related to quickbooks bookkeeping as well you can contact me like my contact information is mentioned below in the description um, also if you have any doubts any questions related to this video you can comment me below i will try to respond to you all of them over the comment section below and uh, this is you can also as i mentioned you can contact me via these three methods you can contact me over the website you can leave an inquiry over the website you can also contact me on this phone number i'm also available on the weekends in case i missed your call somehow i'm working with other client or in case i missed your call you can contact me on the email address you can leave your email and i will respond to your email as soon as i receive it so this was it for this video in case you have any doubt please do comment me below and i will be there to respond it back so i will see you in the next one till then have a good one bye bye